Another Samsung story, you were recently in DC. Apple and Samsung appeared before the Supreme Court on Tuesday. What's going on? These companies have been suing each other for seven years, I think. Ever since Steve Jobs, the late found, founder of Apple, declared thermonuclear war on, on, on Samsung for copying the iPhone. And this has been going on and on and on. And this week, I went to the Supreme Court over the iPhone design. Um, it's, we're talking about the rounded corners on the iPhone 3, the 16 grid layout. When we say copying the iPhone, is that the rounded corners? To what extent is that true? It's pretty in the weeds. It's something called yeah. design patents. The jury said, hey, you infringe these three patents. That's not an issue. It's how much should Samsung pay? The entire profits for the whole phone or just the portion of the profits attributable to that design? And to make it short, in the Supreme Court, what the justices talked a lot about was the Volkswagen bug. People buy, or Beetle, if you want to put it that way, people buy cars because they look cool. And the Volkswagen Beetle has a design patent on that distinctive shell. Suppose I make go out and copy that car, copy the Beetle, I lose patent, should I pay all my profits or just the part attributable to the design? And that's what it comes down to. So what do you think? Who's going to win? Where does this land? Uh, what's going to happen? I think that everyone realizes giving the whole profits for infringing on a design is too much. So they're going to kick it back to the lower court and turn down the damages. But it's another kind of black eye for Samsung. Apple's kind of treating this as a victory lap, saying we're innovative, you're not. And this is the same silly fight that's been going on for years. Bad news for Samsung all around. Don't be Samsung. Yeah.